So today, guys, um, we are hitting the north end of Flagler, which is a lot of our very favorite restaurants. Right. So here we are again. again. Thanks for tuning in to episode, what is this, uh, part three of Savor the Flavor of Flagler. So yeah. why don't you go ahead and get started? Well, you tell them what you started doing. Aren't you working out now with a trainer? Oh, yeah, I did. I mean, I just I think know. that's important with all this food and eating and drinking. I right know. I'm, yeah, so, we're, yeah, we're having to work out more. Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, uh, Diana went and hit these places up. And the first one that she went to was Dekine. Tell them about that. Dekine is um, kind of one of those little hidden gems. Mm -hmm. Because if you like Poke Bowls, that's... Where you get it on Flagler. Oh. And um, I like their spicy tuna. Like, I, we didn't eat for the video or anything because we can't eat at every place we go to. But, <laughs> but I love it. Um, you can, They have a little outside seating. Um, you can make your own bowl, build your bowl. We've got some good videos. Is that all they there. sell there? All they sell there is Poke Bowls, yes. Excellent. Excellent. So then uh, there's another Mexican restaurant on Flagler as well in that north end. And that's La Fiesta, mm -hmm. right? And La Fiesta hasn't been there for very long. No. Yeah. How do you think they're doing? I think they're doing okay. And I think their food is okay. But, I mean, everybody who's there knows Clancy's. Yeah. And so I think and that's a bigger draw. God. Um, but a um, friend that I was with, he was like, wow, this was super cheap. Like, which I didn't realize. Like, it is really reasonable. Like, Oh, well, that's split. good. The fajitas, um, steak, chicken, and shrimp combo, and it was good. Awesome. It was good. But, like, two of us, we weren't drinking. We got out of there for $30. $30. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it was unbelievable. But you weren't drinking. No. So we can't but, tell anybody anything about a margarita because we have no idea. Oh, the margaritas there are good. I have had them. Oh, and it's just not on that day. <laughs> <laughs> no. okay. Well, and the margarita will kick your butt. Oh, so, all right. right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so still, I would definitely recommend the margarita. Yeah, but I like still it for me. The spicy jalapeno ones. Hello. So, okay. Yeah. Awesome. What's your favorite margarita? Uh, we were talking about your tequila. Yeah, but that that's my favorite one is down at Breakers. So you can't go any, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just their top shelf. And, you know, Elliot makes it, and it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Just one. You can only have one. <laughs> and then next on our tour, guys, is Cafe Paradiso, another restaurant that I have not been to. Yeah. Now, they their menu is kind of for the more health conscious. Oh, okay. I think with, not, I mean, it's for everybody, but I think those looking for, like, that, um, Healthier food options, okay. I think they're really good for that. They have, um, I don't know, I think we got some of the menu on the video that you're going to see, but it's really cute, right? Yeah. It's got the outside, it's got the bar, it's got the inside. You could have some outside so, eating at every restaurant. I think every one of them pretty much does. Right. I mean, some restaurants are almost completely, totally outside. Right. Which is, which is really hot in the summer. Yeah, yeah. but... That brings us up to, I think, probably my favorite one on Flagler. Which and is? that would be Third Wave Cafe. Oh, yeah. 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 That place is awesome. So all your food is good. It is all of it. It's so good. So Third Wave is pretty much all outside. Mm -hmm. They have a really different flair on their food. And um, it's awesome. I mean, there's it's, Chef David, I think is his name. Uh, He's amazing. Yeah. Like you can go on their website and read about it. I've actually met him uh -huh. like a year or two ago. And like, it's just amazing what they do. Their food quality is it's amazing. so good. And you pay for it. You it's, do pay for it. It's definitely a pricier restaurant. Right. But they have everything from pizza to short ribs. I mean, it's fantastic. And they're... I was telling you, their pizza, their their smoker. Is, That's how they cook their pizza. Like, they're really renowned for their brisket, I think. Their uh -huh. smoker, remember I was yeah. telling you? And I wasn't in the mood for that. Right. But, but they were sold out. big deal. Yeah, and they, were sold, they didn't have it. But when he's smoking and they have that on the menu, you should certainly try it. And the, the, the whole place is outside, but there is like a little coffee bar that's on that's in the front 
of the restaurant that's right on Flagler. And you'll and see that in the video. Walk through that little tunnel, and then you go back in there. I mean, I, I so many of my memories that come up on Facebook are me and the girls there. I mean, it's just at like... At the coffee shop? or No, at, at Third Wave. I mean, we there, no, we go I'm the coffee all, lover, I think. We go, and, we go there all the time. You know, I think the, I love it. the measure of a good, good coffee is if it's black. Yeah. Right? Like, which I'm a black coffee drinker, but I like third wave cafes like lattes and espressos, too. I mean, their coffee is really good. Well, another thing that they have there, too, is they have a bunch of craft beers. Is it? We tried some. Yeah, we did. I, I don't... I can't remember the name of the one I tried, but it tasted like uh, citrus. It was uh -huh. really good. And the bartender, she was awesome. She actually Her gave us a couple different Yeah, samples. she did. So really nice people. Um, everybody's so friendly. I mean, they just, they, they just really, really, really are. Yeah, and I love sitting at the bar there. Like, I think yeah. it's fun. But, it um, is. So you guys, It's a great place for a date if, yeah. you know, the ambiance is just really so nice. But the thing is, is if it rains, you're getting wet. Because it's not covered. It's completely exposed. Yeah. It, you feel like it's covered, but it's not. It's just because it's so tropical and has all the, it's the very, trees. And the... It's very, very much like the garlic, which that's going to come up, too, in another episode. Not this one, because we're just trying to break I mean, it down. I mean, the garlic so where you're like. for you guys to, you know, kind of go through these videos and see which ones you really want to hit. Because somebody's going to New Smyrna on vacation for a week. You They're could not, spend a month eating there. Oh, easily, absolutely. And not hit every restaurant. And not, right, absolutely. That's what's so amazing about New Smyrna. And, um, you know. So let's go back to Third Wave. If yeah. You're, like we had, you know, the spinach artichoke tip. Oh, yeah, that looks good. But I couldn't need anything else. Did we get anything else? No, we were going to get a meal, but we didn't. Yeah, we but were, we didn't. That is because we had Asian fusion. Oh, I can't wait to tell them about that. Okay, but let's yeah. finish up third wave because yeah. so we they're had, tapas. They have awesome wine. Yes, and tapas. So you can go there just for that and great craft cocktails that they make, mm -hmm. which is really good. Mm -hmm. They also do a nice brunch. Yeah, their brunch is awesome. Yeah, yeah, they do a really good brunch, and they have a great mimosa. They make all different kinds of mimosas. But I don't know if they do unlimited mimosas. I haven't heard. I don't know. But I know that <laughs> I've had plenty. My my fair share. So we've kind of given you guys this little map so that you can kind of see where all these little restaurants are, mm -hmm. right, in relation. So every single one of them is walkable. And if you happen to be staying at the Hampton Inn or one of the bed and breakfasts or even the um, uh, Riverview uh -huh. Right, hotel. All these are just you know, literally right outside your front door. Well, and even if you're all the way down at the end. Yeah. Um, if you want to take a little walk. And you want to walk. It's not It's not even a mile. No, I know. And you'll encounter all the roosters. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's a super cool place. So the next one on our list is Mermaid Cafe. Now that one is fun. And speaking of roosters. Yeah. Go ahead. And, uh, what's his name? No. Waffle. Waffle. Waffle is the rooster there. Yeah. yeah. Do we uh, have that? Do you have a picture of that? I don't know. I like, don't, my friend like oh literally gosh, picked like, up Waffle. This video. It's going to be well, awesome. Well, Waffle just watch. jumped up in his lap. Yes. It was so cool. Yeah. So and cool. The, the lady came out and she was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like he never does that. But so Waffle is the, um, what do you call it, the master? The resident. Yeah, <laughs> the, the resident owner. Resident I mean, rooster. he's the resident rooster. He's cool. That's now, awesome. I don't think Mermaid, I don't think they get enough um, recognition because their food is delicious. It's more cafe style. Mm -hmm. um, but they've also got ice creams. And we tried, I don't know if you guys know about Dole Whip. You yeah. didn't know, right? No, like, did not. So those of you, I, it's a Florida thing. It's a Disney thing, actually. They started, and Dole Whip was pineapple and, like, the vanilla custard. Uh-huh. So Mermaid Cafe had um, mimosas. So it was a Dole Whip mimosa, and you could get pineapple or strawberry flavor. In the sh champagne? Yeah. Or was it with? With like it was all together. It was all like, together. Yeah. So How it was, was like it? one cup. It was delicious. Oh, 
that was delicious. Oh, yeah, to check that out. That was really good. Very um, good. Definitely like the pineapple better. Okay. The strawberry. Okay. Um, good recommendation to him. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, then when we went in side i saw that they had margarita dole whips and i was like what and she's like we don't have them we don't have them the mermaid cafe i would say is the most undervalued restaurant of the ones that we looked at really yeah i would say people need to check it out it's really cool i definitely will well for so long my son has been telling me to go to the asian garden fusion Yes. It's right next to Third Wave, so I'm always drawn to Third Wave. But because we wanted to share this with you guys, we decided to go ahead and pop in there. And boy, have I been missing out. Right. That food was so good. I mean, just like crazy good. So we had the coconut, coconut mussels. mussels. These mussels were literally cooked in this coconut milk and I hate coconut because I don't like the texture but I love the flavor of it I just don't like the texture of it and honestly they serve it with these little toast points it is one of the tastiest things I've ever put in my mouth it was so good it was so good I cannot it wait to so go good. back and then the um you know spring rolls when you hear spring roll you think it's going to be something that's you know fried and crispy little thing well theirs was not and no. it was absolutely delicious it was yeah i mean i will not and their peanut we, sauce that's always a measure for me yeah like their peanut sauce was delicious delicious i cannot wait to go back there and i love spicy like i love thai that's probably my favorite food thai yeah. and the spicier the better um so i'm gonna try that i've been there before but usually i'm sharing with people mm -hmm. so i never really get what i want because nobody wants it that hot yeah so one of these days i'm going to try their green curry hot we'll get you to go he he will he, he likes that. Hot oh stuff. absolutely oh my gosh he loves all that but he definitely that and they've won a lot of awards they, yeah and i just i'm just but what you know what i didn't know what this is funny because i've been I didn't know they had the back courtyard. Oh, that was so pretty. Isn't that funny? Like, I've never been everything. all the way back. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's so, so. So they nice. have the indoor and outdoor seating as well. Yeah, and they also have, their they're closed on Tuesdays, but they open at 4 o'clock, you know, mm -hmm. the rest of the time. So highly, highly recommend going there. And then finally on our list, we have to bring you some dessert. Yes. Right? Zeno's. Yeah. So we went into Zeno's and oh my God, the girl behind the counter, she was so cute. She's like, don't tell me. I look terrible. Yeah, and but, she didn't. but she didn't. She didn't. So Zeno's is a very famous candy store where they have ice cream, but they also have saltwater taffy that they make. They have another location in Daytona, mm -hmm. correct? Well, that, that they started out of Daytona. Yeah. And they, and they became, they're like famous. But all um, anything chocolate. That you could, yeah, they're being fudge. They're they're fudge. They're pecan clusters. What else do we see? Those bars, which, oh my gosh, the thing was like this big, and it was covered in chocolate and caramel and nuts. And, and she said it was, it was Yeah, it is. Um, that what is it called? Davidian, divine. What's no, it called? I don't it's called? know. She said, but it, it's like nougat, but it's mm -hmm. white. Yeah, and um, we did not get that. But no, that I, like that sounds really sweet. Yeah, but I did get some of their taffy. It's yeah. delicious. It is delicious. And I'm not even like a big taffy. Like I'm not and a big. They have lover. they home they make their waffle cones from scratch there, mm -hmm. and it smells great. They make their ice cream too, and they make their ice cream. So I know that we talked about treats on the beach before, and treats on the beach is 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 good. But I'm telling you, Zeno's. And Zeno's also has really cool, like, gift boxes where you can get all kinds of candy and you can ship it mm -hmm. to places. Mm -hmm. um, and really, and they're local and they've been around a long time, but I think they're struggling. I think they are. I think location. they're struggling. So, guys, all you local New Smyrna people, all you people that are coming down to visit, when you're really looking for something sweet, you definitely should stop in at Zeno's because we would hate to see that place go away. Right. Yeah. And interest, you know, you brought up um, sweet treats on the beach. I love that place because, yeah, you know, it has 
good memories. Right. Like we would be at the Salty Mermaid or down at um, Oceana, and you could just walk there. Yeah. But Zeno's ice cream is way better. Oh, it's so good. It's way better. It's creamier. Right. It's, it's a, a higher quality. And it's great, especially also if you have kids, you take them into the store, and it's almost like the old Ferrell's. I mean, it doesn't have that much candy like they did, but, you know, it's wall-to-wall different kinds of taffy. I mean, any kind of flavor that you would want. Yeah, that they was have, fun. You know, so so that was really cool. So, they all had black licorice taffy, which was really good, by the way. Oh, it was? Of yeah. you tried that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> wow. I, was, I love black licorice. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this week's Savor the Flavor. Next week, we're going to be hitting the North Causeway. So, for all you people who are wing lovers or want oh, to yeah, see got some... the best wing place. Yeah, the be- and then also the place that probably has one of the best views and also of New Smyrna when you're eating in a restaurant. And even a healthy option. And even healthy options too. We've got some other things for you. Yeah. Next week. So tune in. Okay, great. Thanks again. Bye.